I entered a credit application on a 2018 Ford Edge. Okay. You know what that is? Yep. Okay, that's an SUV. I entered a credit application on it, okay? You went and told your manager, hey, this guy wants to buy this car. He wants to see if he can get approved. Your manager looks at the app and says, get him in. You ever had that happen? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, it's kind of what happens, right, guys? Okay, that happens. Call me and tell me I'm approved. Great news, Andy, I got you approved. Whatever you do, go ahead. All right. Hey, Andy, how's it going? This is Vadim calling you back. Yeah. Uh, I got your credit application. I went over it with my manager, and it looks like this car's gonna be a perfect fit for you. We got you approved. Wanted to see, when do you want to come in for this car? Okay, number one, thank you so much for getting me approved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, do you know what my payment's gonna be? Yeah, uh, I talked with my manager, and it looks like the payment's gonna be exactly where you want it to be, uh, where we discussed prior, including your- We haven't, remember, we haven't discussed it. Oh, okay. Um, What's my payment gonna be? Andy, I just wanted to find out from you, um, is, is there a specific payment that you want it to be at here? Uh, 250. 250? All right, um, where's my payment gonna be at? If, You're not if we gonna got know that because your manager ain't gonna tell you. We work a little differently, so. Uh, okay, let's say that he did tell you. Do you yeah. want to tell me on the phone? Um, I, I wouldn't tell you on the phone. I'd say, Andy. Okay, look, so you're not going to tell me. You're yeah. not going to tell me the payment on the phone. Yep. But you said you work it differently. Yeah. So you know what my payment's going to be. Yeah. Call me. Okay. What's my payment going to be? Handy. Uh, look, your payment is going to be something that's going to be very affordable for you. Look, I know this car is going to fit you perfectly. We got the price where you want it to be. We got you approved. Uh, I wanted to see if you wanted to come down. Remember this. Say good, great, and unstoppable. Good, great, and unstoppable. Okay. Rate yourself. Good, great, or unstoppable. Four. No, put your hand out. <laughs> Let me see your hand. Let yeah. me see your hand. Yeah. Like this. Put your hand out. See that? Yep. Put it out again. Look at his hands. Watch this. This is why we train. Yep. So you can sit here with me and stay calm. Is this really that big of a deal? No. Public speaking is for me, yeah. No, no, no. But you, you're you a yeah. public speaker for a living, right? Yeah. Right? Because you speak to people every yep. day, right? So people have to want to hear you speak, yep. right? So the more comfortable that you can get in speaking in front of people, the better you're going to be at making more money for your family, right? Yep. This is the best thing in the world for him right here. This right here, I can make him a millionaire if he'll just slow down. This right here, getting in his head about speaking in front of people. First of all, I'm going to tell you, number one, why public speaking should matter. None of them care about you. I know it sounds weird. You're thinking that they care about you right now and they're wondering and judging you what you're gonna say. Really, they don't care. They're hoping they don't get called next. <laughs> It's not that big of a deal. Do you see how we create our own fear? Fear is an indicator that we don't know something. Let me grab you. Okay, you did a good job, by the way. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. All right, credit app came in, 2018 Ford Edge. You, you know, say, hey man, I can get this guy done. Call me. Hey Andy, how you doing today? Good, what's going on, buddy? Hey man, I actually just wanted to call you and tell you that we actually got you approved on that vehicle that you were interested in. So when can you make it down? What are you doing right now? Um, well, hey, number one, thank you for getting me approved. I appreciate it. We really want to buy a car. By the way, what's my payment going to be? Hey, you know, I completely understand why that would be super important to you. You see, we have a lot of professionals here that deal with extremely different situations like yours. We have all sorts of different paths, also different ways that we can go. Um, it's just a matter of coming down, actually putting it together specific towards you and making it work exactly for you. Does that sound fair? Okay, listen to me. So I'm gonna say good, great, and unstoppable, right? And I'm gonna tell you this, the way that he handled it, it wasn't combative. I think it was a good job, but I'm gonna tell you this, I think there's another level. And my goal is, in my life, is to get the max potential out of you. You've been selling for four years, right? Would you agree that there is something that you could say that could flow like water, that Absolutely. could put your customer at ease, okay? You said things like there's a lot of different ways to go, right? Is that, is that confusing to a customer? There's a lot of different ways to go. Does that mean anything? Does that, does that make the customer feel any safer with you? Can I ask you a question? You're a leader, right? Yeah. If you're my leader, your job is to make me feel safe and protected when I'm with you. And if you do, I'll work for you with blood, sweat, and tears, and I'll give you everything I got. But the second I don't feel safe and protected, I'm gonna go work for someone else. A lot of people are that way, would you agree? What is your job to make your customers do? Safe. Feel safe and protected with you. Do you think that they like salespeople? But how do they feel after they meet you? That's what we want. But how will we make that feeling happen? We will give them a gut feeling. Everybody say this, logically, logically and, gut. and gut. Both of those have to match for us to do business. Both that, have to match. That's it. I want to explain this to you. Logically, what he's saying to me doesn't make sense. Secondly, the way he says it is he's so calm about the way he says it that I feel that I can go in and have a good dealing with him when I get there. Does that make sense? Do you think that sometimes a customer asks a question just to see what kind of dealing, what kind of person they are going to be dealing with and what the dealings might look like based off the way you answer one question? You ask somebody, hey, what's your best price? The price you see online. 
So you say I can't get a better deal? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even if that is the truth, do you think they're coming down? You made me feel like you're an arrogant prick. Like I'm just gonna come in and have to submit to whatever it is that your store says I have to do? No thanks. Do you guys understand selling and persuading now? Do you guys understand I don't care what you understand about the market, I care about what you say to your people. Your people, the only thing that matter, the way you make people feel will be in determine how much you get paid. Do you understand that? Guys, speaking is your number one weapon. Speaking is. Some of you are in here right now and you think it's a word track. You can learn the word track, but if you can't say it, you're screwed. You can understand the concept of like why we would use this word track, not be able to say it and you're screwed. Am I right? Okay, you did a good job. What I want is I this. I want logically, okay? I want it to make sense. Secondly, I want them to feel in their gut that what I'm saying to them makes sense so we can pass go. Do we want to set the appointment? Yes. Do you want to tell people, I can't give you your payment over the phone? Do we want to tell them that? No. What we want to do is we want to say that everybody says, I'm so glad you asked. Hey, what's my payment going to be? I'm so glad you asked. Am I worried about it? Do people like dealing with people that aren't worried about their finances because they're that assured of themselves? Everybody say the word certainty. certainty. You know what certainty is? Certainty is something that you have when you make the phone call to the customer that they believe that you are certain about you being able to take care of them. You, found a little, you sound a little sketchy? You sound a little unsure? Oh, now I'm unsure. Think about how many times you made a call and you said, um, uh, well, you know, well, uh, wait, so we got, a couple, we got a couple different ways to go. Why are we saying that? What do you want to say? What's my payment going to be? Hey, I'm so glad you asked. Look, let me explain what we do here, okay? It's a great question. Am I right? And it's going to be answered with a great answer. If you guys can't memorize this, okay, you will get trapped. By the way, you learn how to speak, you'll be able to talk yourself out of any situation and work. Guys, I don't get tickets because I talk myself out of them. It's not because I don't speed, okay? I talk myself out of them, all right? I'm going to tell you this. Wouldn't you guys like to have the life you want? Be able to create your own economy, all the stuff? That's what we're doing right now, okay? Remember this. We're watching different level of people play. All right, let's roll here. One of my coaches. Who wants to do it? One of you guys. What? Okay, all right, Danny, let's go. Danny, thank you so much for getting me approved. What's my payment gonna be? Andy, I'm so glad you asked that. Our licensed finance department actually uses a very strict budgeting program to ensure that you never have to worry about your payment being boon too high. In fact, 95% of my customers, 95% of my customers who've had that same concern in the past actually left with a much lower payment than expected. So that's great. Definitely don't have to have that same concern here. Getting to know you here a little bit on the phone. What time can you make it in tonight, Andy? Does that ensure you everything's gonna be okay? Is it nice and smooth? Is there any dead words? Do we need dead words? Do you guys wanna be machine gun sprayers or snipers? Pop, pop, pop. Hey, what's my payment gonna be? Hey, I'm so glad you asked. You see, you come right at it. Can you learn this? Can you learn this? Of course you can learn this. Every one of you can learn this. I've got hundreds of word tracks to teach you. Never again will you guys hear another one of my word tracks and not learn. Make that commitment to yourself.